Romans, chapter ten. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for these lights is that they may be saved. For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but the zeal is not based on knowledge. Since they did not know the righteous God, and the salt established their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. Christ is the culmination of the law, so that there may be righteousness for every one who believes. Moses writes this about the righteousness that is by the law. The person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that is by faith says. Do not see in your heart who was sent into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who was descending to the deep, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is in your you, is in your mouth and your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. If you declare with your mouth. Jesus is the Lord, and believe in your heart. Then God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe, and are justified. It is with your mouth you profess your faith, and are saved. As Scripture says, anyone who believes in Him will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all, and richly blesses all who call on Him. For every one who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? And it's written, "How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news!" But not all Israelites accept the good news. Father says, "Lord, who has believed our message? Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Of course, they did." So war, their voice is going out into all the earth, the words to the end of the world. Again, I ask, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, "I will make you envious by those who are not a nation, and I'll make you angry by the nation that has no understanding." And Isaiah boldly says, "I was found by those who did not seek me. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me." But concerning Israel, he says, "All day long, I have held on my hands to a disobedient and obstinate people." 